Hello everyone and welcome to Soul Show. Today we are talking about a little film. It's called The House with a Clock in Its Walls. I believe that is the title. I've, I've said the title of this film I think like 20 times and I've got it correctly like three times. This is a film about a young boy whose parents dies and he gets caught up in the world of wizardry. And no, this is not Harry Potter. And this film is also about Jack Black, who is unexpectedly becoming a teacher. And even though he should have no responsibility over children, he is now in charge of a young adult who he must teach. And no, this is not School of Rock. And on top of learning how to be a warlock, uh, surviving this house that seems ready to destroy him at any minute. I feel like I should give a not bullshit synopsis. So this movie is about a young boy who after his parents die, he lives with his uncle and his uncle just turns out to be a warlock and he lives in this big spooky house but despite how spooky it is, around every corner, around every room, there is something to discover and there's always something new, something interesting, and the house, despite uh, his uncle owning it, he doesn't seem to know everything going on in it. There's this big mystery about a clock, and eventually that leads into the world possibly being destroyed. So this kid, on top of having to deal with all those other things, having to go to school, bullies, uh, a girl who's flirting with him a little bit has to save the world, become a wizard, etc. That's our movie. And Jack Black, I don't think he's done anything substantial in the past couple years. I don't think this is out of the fold for anything you can expect from him lately. He is a very charismatic, very larger than life, very physical comedy kind of guy. And in this film, he does his shtick. It works here. I like the idea of him kind of being a warlock, like being this dumb, goofy guy who can also perform these magical spells. It's an interesting movie for him to be in, but he pulls it off, and he has a really interesting chemistry with the kid and his neighbor. His neighbor is this really badass best friend character, and she is amazing. She's like Professor McGonagall. If Professor McGonagall bake cookies and also talk shit at you half the time. The chemistry between these two, Jack Black and her, it is so funny at times. It's probably my favorite thing about this movie. There's some really good banter. When you get past all that, past all this good writing, past these actual funny moments, that's when the, the, the bad portions of the film come out and you realize, oh shit, I'm watching a family film written for children. And there's poop jokes. There's like this poop joke that was used like five times. It was never funny. It was used to open up a gag. It was reused multiple times. And then they had a cutaway, cutaway gag of the same joke using the same tone by Jack Black and it was cutting out to the credits. The last, the last thing you remember about this film will be this terrible joke. Why? Why did, who, who, who thought a terrible CGI lion hedge thing shitting was so funny that we needed to use it five times? I guess that was a spoiler, but really, the, you, you, you can't be spoiled about the fact that there's a giant CGI bush in this film and it shits and we're supposed to laugh about it. That joke was the worst thing about this film. There's a couple other parts of this movie I don't really care for. The score just sounds like Harry Potter. There's a lot of little things like little uh, little filmmaking things that I was critiquing. But other than that, it's, it's a dumb family film. If I was 10 years old, I would have adored this film. I would have watched it 20 times probably. Other than that though, nothing substantial here. This is a very by the numbers movie, and by the numbers does not mean bad. It just means there's nothing new here. I do think some of the performances and some of the themes here really did work. I felt like this could have been a great movie if just polished a little bit. It also could have easily been a shit movie if not for some likable characters and some pretty good writing. I have no desire to read the book, by the way. I'm probably never going to. It's one of those films that it's like, eh, it's based off a book, but who, 
who needs to read that book? I still got like 10 other book movies I need to read. So it, it'll be put on the way back burner. Other than that, there isn't a whole lot to this film. I think a couple surprises got to me and a couple really predictable parts. I felt like they really cheapened the main character, the kid, at one point by making him do some things that were really dumb. I know he's a kid actor and they pointed out he's just a kid. But really, we're, we're going to expect this character to do the most stupid thing that he could do. But it's okay because he solves it in the end. Anyway guys, that's all I got for this one. I'm going to give a house with a clock in its walls a 7 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching. As always, you can check down below and hit up the comments if you feel so inclined. You can hit up my other videos for more beautiful content. And until next time, thank you for watching. And with that, I leave you.